are there. I think. Uh, I hope we are live here, guys. I hope we are live. Hello and welcome back. Uh, once again, we are doing the simulcast with. Once again, we are. Uh, with the Discord live at the moment, we are doing the Discord live and some uh, YouTube live at the same time. And then one of our friend, Jordan, is running and listening at the same time as well. So we got a lot going uh, going on here this morning. Uh, happy Mondays to you. Uh, we're gonna have some fun this morning. We're gonna do. Uh, we have a new segment. I feel like we have a new segment quite often in this channel. So today is a Coffee Talk Monday. Okay, uh, let's talk about the price of hand grinder. Is four hundred fifty dollars a lot? A lot of money for hand grinder. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask that question to you guys right now. Okay, let me know what what do you guys think. There's about nineteen people watching uh, right this moment on the live streaming. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is four fifty too much for hand grinder? Actually, this grinder I have. Uh, so th uh, so this is a Fionzato Piatra. Okay, Piatra or hand grinder. Uh, four hundred seventy-five dollars. So this is a pro brewing. So this is a grinder is a made for brewing. Okay, four hundred and seventy-five dollars. And then they have another model. Uh, it's called uh, B Birds. Okay, they're selling for twenty-five dollars less. Okay, twenty-five dollars less. So that's the uh, that's the espresso friendly as well. I mean, both makes you know good coffee, but this birds make okay so this bird makes a really good coffee i know nick was at the uh, sea the coffee expo uh nick doesn't uh doesn't like like okay so he did not like this uh, grinder okay by the way so this is the actually sca demo unit i'm gonna big shout out to kevin at espresso parts to hook me up with this grinder here so yeah uh nick does not like the workflow okay uh, let me know in the comments. So you guys, uh, uh, quite a few people say way too much money for hand grinder there. I think you might be right, okay? But Gene say depends, right? I think that's a great answer, okay? All depends, okay? Because if you're comparing to hand grinder, all right? Uh, by the way, Ahmed asking me about the, any relations with the recent Barbie trend. Uh, answer is no, unfortunately. So this is the only grinder they have on hand. Okay, I talked to Kevin there. Who, you want to wait a while or you want to get something right now? I said, you know, I don't care about the colors anyway. So they have one color left for demo units. So, so I have the pink. Okay, I have the pink units. So this one is, the, again, the Probers, the Embers. Think of it as like multi-purpose on your uh, fellow O, like Gen 2 birds there. You know, fellow O, the SSP, the 64 millimeter flat bird. You can uh, switch out very clean. And so this one, again, this is a hand grinder, comes with a 58 millimeter uh, flapper inside. And uh, the design by one of our friends, uh, Lance Hedrick. Some people like to say Lance Hendrick, but it's not Hedrick. Okay, so Lance actually has a lot of input on this uh, grinder, the bird design. So, and make sure you check out his video. It's pretty funny though. Okay, pretty funny and very informal. Uh, again, I've been playing for the last couple of days. It's really clean for sure. So let's go back to the question about 450 too much more money. I mean, Gene said it is depends. Uh, if you are comparing it to, right, uh, what's out there? We have a GP6, okay, the from Easy Presser. I think I know a lot of you out there love this hand grinder. So this one coming in at $200. 200 is still expensive too, okay. We have uh, Cafe Sing, it's called Orca, comes the ghost birds, okay, ghost birds. Very unique, flat bird, $219, okay. I, I have uh, K Plus up there. K Plus, so we are pushing 260, 270 from Amazon, all right. And this so not only that, have you guys heard about uh, Commandante Veracuda? Okay, who, uh, who have her Veracuda from Commandante? C60. All right, C60. Okay, so C60, here, let me show you the color. Okay, I, I don't know about the color. I'm not a big fan of a C60 color, but. So this is the new Commandante C60. 
Obviously, C40 is like 40 millimeter for C40, and C60 is 60 millimeter uh, weight. Obviously, a lot heavier as well. And there comes the black uh, crank. And again, there are 60 millimeter, kind of like a conical shape. Okay, the conical bar, 60 millimeter. Guess how much, guys? I know. They are pretty pricey. Uh, we are pushing over 600 US dollars. Okay, just a hand grinder. So again, it's all depend on the, uh, what kind of grinder you guys are looking at. So C60, you are pushing upwards of 600. And the next level up for hand grinder is the, the Weber, the HG1, okay, the Prime. You are pushing about $1,500 okay, for just a hand grinder. I bet you I'm waiting for uh, other grinders as well. I know Bruce is waiting for the, the Momentum uh, gr uh, hand grinder. Has a dual version inside. Uh, I think I'm not a barista. People actually uh, uh, manufacturing that uh, particular grinder there. Uh, I even say the M47, yep, M47, also very pricey too. But this newer hand grinder coming out, uh, like Commandante and the C60, man, uh, they are, you know, we are, again, we are talking about 600 plus. We don't know exact final price going to be. It's going to be a lot of money. Okay, so, so back to $475, $450 for this grinder. I mean, it is pricey, but depend on where you are going to compare it to. Okay, if you're going to compare it to the high-end grinder, yes. Okay. This is, it's not bad. 58 millimeter flat bar with the blue focused. If you are comparing to, let's say, GP6, all right, it's twice more. So this is the flat versus a very clean conical, okay? So the only way to find that is uh, we have to compare it. So that's what we're gonna do this week. Uh, so this Thursday, all right, I'm gonna have a sale I'm gonna have Sarah come over on this Thursday. We are going to do kind of like a uh, kind of a bracket challenge. So I'm gonna be comparing a uh, 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 Pitro with the fellow Ogento. Okay, fellow Ogento versus Pitro. A fellow Ogento is about what? Uh, about 400 bucks. Okay, from fellow, a great brew grinder. So it should be a pretty good comparison there. They are 64 millimeter flat, 58 millimeter flat. So let's go against that. And the winners going to take on and then the, the other bracket I'm going to compare GP6 and and a ghost birds and then let's find that and then whichever wins go to the final okay so yeah uh, it should be it should be very interesting and I'm going to have uh, so we are going to pick out a couple of different beans as well so we're gonna go with the wash coffee versus uh, anaerobic coffee too, because some birds are better with anaerobic than wash. Okay, the design, right? I mean, before we don't have to worry about it. So now we have the flat bird in hand grinder, because just like MP birds, right? Uh, I know a lot of people put MP birds on your fellow, the Gen 2, you know, Gen 1 doesn't matter. Bring out that a lot of clarity. Okay, so, and if you, you want the clean cup of coffee, again, the nice flat is nice. So it's all dependent on the coffee. So that's why it's so hard to compare, you know, grinder to grinder because depend on the, uh, uh, so depend on the coffee makes big difference. Okay. Uh, the other day I was making a uh, nice wash coffee from say with a uh, Petra, Petra, wonderful. That was fantastic. Really clean, crisp, juicy. And the, I just made this morning with this anaerobic coffee, okay, from Indonesia, from Presta, the lemongrass, tangerine, and papaya, all right, somewhat flat, okay, somewhat flat. So, again, it's all depend on the coffee as well. So, hopefully, we are going to get a right combination to compare uh, coming uh, Thursday, all right. Let's see here, but meantime, again, uh, if you're first time joining us, Welcome to live streaming here. We got some, hold on a second, we have a Dave, we got Ahmed, okay. 
Uh, I'm just talking about the sniper hand grinder. Hands on sniper from, uh, no, I don't, I, I don't have the grinder yet. Okay. All right. So Johnny asking me about uh, why did you get the pink? Uh, that's the only options. All right. So this is a demo unit, by the way. Okay. Dave is joining us for the second time there. Okay. Uh, Ryan said, yep, uh, B75 versus uh, uh, Aurea. Yes. Uh, let's do that this week too. Okay. Uh, there are B75, if, if you don't know, that's the timer, uh, flat, flat bottom paper, extremely fast. Okay, just like Aurea, so should be fun to compare. So, but Aurea has an advantage though. Okay, so Aurea comes here with a negotiator, so you can do a lot more stuff with it. But, uh, so, but we, either way, we're going to compare this way. All right. The Kenny said, coffee is so confusing. Uh, yes and no, okay. I mean, coffee can be extremely, extremely simple. Ignore this. If you just want to make coffee, just, just make your coffee your way, all right? I mean, don't worry about this gadgets here. You know, don't worry about the grinder. Don't worry about it. Just whatever you have, just make yourself coffee. So the reason we are talking about this, uh, we about 50 people watching. You know, you guys are not the regular coffee drinkers. Obviously, you guys are into coffee, okay? I mean, that's why, you know, we are talking about this stuff, all right? Hold on a second here. We have uh, uh, Nick talking about the POTU. What is the POTU, bud? I don't know what that is. Makes an MP. I don't know what POTU makes MP style burst additional to the ghost. Okay, I have an MP style one. Okay. I don't know. Uh, what, what's the POTU? Uh, Elaine said, are we reviewing the lens grinder today? Uh, I think we kind of did last week, but yeah, we are, no, uh, we are going to talk about the, uh, days to come. It's not a one day, uh, talking about grinders. So, uh, we're going to go multiple days talking about one grinder this week. Okay. Because it's very hard to cover talking about the grinder in one day because, it uh, because I mean, it depends on the coffee too, because uh, I want so I want to find out, okay, this coffee is good for, okay, wash coffee versus the processed coffee. All right, let's find out. Is uh, this uh, grinder uh, good for the cone-shaped paper versus the flat bottom paper? Okay, we're going to test that as well. We are going to test everything, okay? I mean, if you guys are thinking about buying this, and I, I mean, I'd like to inform you guys as much as I can, all right? And overall, I mean, this is a workflow. If you do espresso on this grinder, workflow stinks. Okay, it's not the best. All right, it's really, really hard. But if you are a filter guy, man, filter session, you know, filter coffee, this is fine. Okay, this about 45 seconds to grind, about 18 grams, so 45 seconds. So, I mean, if you do filter only, it's, it's okay. But I don't know why, how many of you actually want to do espresso with a hand grinder. Too much work, all right? I mean, too much work there. So, again, so we are going to make some more coffee with uh, Petro this way, uh, today, actually. We're going to do a few more sessions today. And then, uh, but here's the fact. I have EK43 here. That's upwards of three grand, okay? That grinder, I only use that for filter, filter coffee. That's it, nothing else. That is my go-to filter, 3,000, all right? So spending, you know, just one grinder for filter, spending, you know, for 500 bucks, if you're a coffee hobbyist, that's not too bad, okay? So, hold on, Johnny said, so you never use that EK. I don't know, Johnny, I, I guess you, you haven't seen me with the EK. Anyway, so, I mean, I use that EK every single day. Anyway. Uh, Again, uh, so back to this one. So once you start getting into coffee as your hobbyist, all right, if you're a coffee as a hobbyist, uh, you want to kind of like go, here's my thing, okay? If you go into coffee, so get the grinder that really shines on espresso and also a filter. Do not get like multi-purpose grinder, all right? Do not get a multi-purpose. And if you're a beginner, if you're getting into coffee, that's fine. But once you start getting into it, I bet you Nick has, you know, coffee grinders for every occasion for sure. All right. All right. I bet you Nick has every occasion for coffee grinder. 
So yeah, it all depends on what you want out of it from your coffee as your hobby. But I mean, yeah, I mean, next day is almost. So it all depends on what you want. But I mean, it is a lot of fun. Okay, someone's calling me right now. Okay, someone's calling me right now. So I think I'm, I, I, I might have to, I wonder, it's go, phone should be forward to this phone, which means my live streaming phone right now. So hope, I mean, if I cut out, you know why. Okay, if you're cut out, you know why. Hold on a second here. We have a, a P somebody, P, P Ram say, I do espresso every day with Commandante, but 13.5 grams of coffee. So that's not too bad. 13.5, okay. And then Dave say, I'm beginner, only focus on the filter coffee first. Again, uh, if you're a beginner, you know, I don't, don't spend too much money on coffee gear. Okay, maybe, maybe spend maybe like $50 or $70 on nice hand grinder. Start with that first. If this is something you want to get into, but yeah, I mean, don't, don't spend too much money on it because not only you have to spend money on gear, and also you, gotta, you need to spend money on coffee as well. So, I mean, good coffee costs, good, you know, it's a lot of money because, I mean, average coffee costs 250 gram to like three or 400 gram. It's not even pound. You have to set you back about $25, okay? $25. So, I mean, it is a lot of, uh, I mean, it is a lot, okay? You're going to spend a lot of money on coffee throughout the year, so, yeah. So, I mean, do not skip on the, because if you have great gears, and if you are drinking, you know, mediocre coffee, you, you know, you're going to get a mediocre, mediocre cup. So, yeah, make sure to spend some money on coffee, all right? And the, but if you are into, you know, dark roast only, medium to dark, I mean, your options are pretty simple. I mean, you don't have to worry about, you know, just get a good grinder, 100 bucks, and then medium to dark, dark chocolate notes, anyway, nutty, very earthy, grateful, black coffee, Americano, milk-based drink. Yeah, I mean, you got everything covered, okay? But once you get into light roast, uh, that's a different story, okay? There are different story there. Hold on a second here, we have uh, the Jimmy, Ask Jabba Jimmy say, do you think it's a good idea to get second hand gear? Second hand gear. Oh yeah, used ones. I, yes. I you gotta get a great price. Sometimes you get a great price on it. But the great thing about the nice used one, they are nicely seasoned. Alright, so you don't have to you don't have to worry about season. And then ninety nine percent of the time most second hand gears, they're gently used anyway. Alright? Gently used. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna be fine. And ju just make sure you get it from reputable uh, outlet, okay? I mean, Home Brista is a pretty good uh, place to look for used equipment. Do not get it from like Facebook Marketplace. I mean, once in a while, the close out uh, cafe that serves their grinders, man, they are really beat up, okay? Make sure be careful, all right? Make sure be careful buying from like close out coffee shops. Well, most likely they do not take care of their gear anyway. So yeah, uh, trust me, I bought a couple of my grinders from deal like that. So yeah, I think uh, one of my older videos out there, I uh, have a Mazer mini videos out uh, way back when. Yeah, there are, I, mean, I got from Facebook and Craigslist. So I had to refurbish it. That was fun. That's a fun project. All right, shout out to Nick. Nick's Nizzi. Okay. All right, let's hear what else. I think we are, are we good for this morning? Okay. And then Johnny said, Johnny Brown said, you say about 20 times on EK. What? Did I say 20 times? Huh. I need, to, I need to go over my older videos and I need to double check that. All right, hold on a second here. Elaine said, lots of secondhand equipment is posted on Discord. Jimmy, yeah. I, I mean, one of you buying from Discord, it's not that cheap as you, 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 know, you want to be, all right? It's not that cheap. Because um, uh, Discord people knows the coffee. So, I mean, that can ask the premium price. 
yeah. Hold on a second, yeah. And the MSA Mazra Mini Plus Review, yeah, so that's way back when. Uh, take me there for a while. All right, so let's, uh, let's brew some coffee here uh, this morning. So I try with uh, this 58 millimeter with anaerobic process coffee this morning. That was okay, all right, in a little flat. So uh, I have this kind of like a nice wash coffee. It's not a wash, it's sun dry natural, okay? Sun dry natural uh, processed coffee here. Blueberry pie, orange, and milk chocolate. So let's brew this. Okay, let's brew that. And then uh, lately, all right, lately I've been upping my dose, okay? Big shout out to, I, w I wonder where's the dog man at? The dog man told me that, well, why, why don't you start uh, using like 18 to 20 gram dose, okay? 18 to 20 gram dose. So, because I like to go like 13 and 15 is my go-to, but so today uh, we're gonna go large, okay? We're gonna go large cup here. Uh, let's go, let's go 20. Yeah, let's go 20, why not? All right, let's go 20 gram. And then let's use the Pietro. It's a Pietro or a Pietro, okay? We're gonna do 20 gram dose. I think I'm gonna go, let's go like one to 15 or one to 16 ratio there. All right. Comes to ratio, you, you just has to play with, okay? I bet you someone loves the one to 15 or one to 16. Yeah, so it's all depend on what you like, so yeah. Make sure you figure it out, all right? Again, there's no magic number, okay? And then uh, uh, Nick likes the 22 gram basket. 20 gram for pour over for Nick. I mean that is uh, that is that that that's real cup there. Uh, Dave said getting confused with the ratios. I mean the ratio means just you know just one grams of coffee equals to whatever grams of water. That's it. So let's say one to ten, which means I got 18 grams of coffee. To 10 grams of water, so 180 grams of water. I'm gonna add it to it. The up outcome might be a little different because, uh, you know, obviously the pour over has, you know, they have retained water anyway. So yeah, I mean, again, comes to math. If you if you you know just to use your calculator to figure out your math. I mean, if you do 20, 1 to 15, that's 300 gram there. But if you have like skill, like fellow skills I have, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Do the math for you. All right, so I think what, we are doing the 20 gram here. Let's find out how long it's gonna take to grind 18 gram, okay? No, I'm sorry, 20 gram. And then my grind setting at number eight on my grinder size, okay? Maybe, you know, let, let, let's change the 8.5. Yeah, let's do 8.5. All right. I don't know what it does take, minute? It's about a minute to do it. I don't know. I'm going to start my timer here. I mean, it comes to workflow, I mean, you just gotta hold it down on your table. Just crank it, it's not too bad, okay? Especially flat bread takes a little longer than conical. Okay, I mean, we are still going here. And Mr. Rainbow said 56 seconds. Yeah, 45, 41, 41, yeah, 40, yeah, about 40, 43 seconds. So, so it's not too bad, okay? You have to work at it. I mean, if, the, if this one was like a GP6 or any other hand grinder, it takes about maybe like 40 seconds, not even like 35 to 40 seconds at the most. So, comes to speed-wise, not too bad there. Again, so I got 20 gram going in. 
let's find out how much retention, okay? How much uh, retain, uh, retention uh, on the coffee grinder. Okay, but meantime, so let's use the, just a classic V60 recipe here. All right, just a classic V60 recipe. I bet you everybody has V60 anyway. Should be, you know, pretty standard here. First, I'm going to wash the paper. So whenever you wash, you know, I can smell it. Okay, I can smell the paper. They're pretty strong. All right. Uh, I must say no wet WTT. No. Let's go simple, guys. We're going to do the simple recipe. Uh, let's do 1 to 16 ratio. This is the magnetic on the bottom. All right. I got 19.9 guys. So comes to retention wise, there's no whole lot of retention there. I mean, it works pretty good. Okay. It works pretty good there. So again, uh, comes to retention, there's, uh, there's not much. All right. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera here, guys. So let me show you what I'm doing. As you can see, I got 19.8 gram. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to slip over 0.2 gram. Okay, I'm going to start with about, about, 50, about 60 grams of water, okay? All right. To bloom it. So this is why I don't do the wet WDT. So I just stir it, pretty aggressive. And then I'm gonna wait about 45 seconds. I know some people likes to wait about a minute, I know a minute and a half. So it all depends. Bubbly right now, uh, degassing. About 45 seconds into it. I'm just going to do the second pull. Just nice and gentle. Do about another half there. About 157. Start adding to maintain the level. Again, there's no, I mean, there's the all recipes out there, they're all good. Okay. I, I have not found any bad recipes. Comes to V60. Let's go 1 to 15, yeah, 1 to 16 here. That's it. At this point, I'm going to just do a quick swerve, okay? You know, some people like to do that, or some people don't, but... And then comes to brew time. I'm hoping, you know, I just... Anywhere between... Hold on a second, yeah. Like... Two and a half to like three minutes. It all depends. And then you can actually taste it. And adjust your recipe from there. All right, adjust the recipe, recipes uh, from there as well. So right now, let's see here. We are two minutes and thirty seconds. Okay. By the way, if you're first time joining us, welcome to live streaming here. Okay. We have a Mac Ask 
Smart Grinder or Opus? Smart Grinder or Opus? I mean, if you're looking for a budget a grinder, uh, I mean, the Smart Grinder has been around for longer. Okay, they have history behind it. Okay, so Opus just launched this year. So what we know so far, I think I go with the Smart Grinder for now. All right. Okay. Because uh, I mean, again, I mean, by next year, if everybody has a, still has a good feedback for fellow Opus, all right. But again, so Smart Grinder has been out for pretty much forever. So yeah. I mean, they're both. Either way, I mean, they're both fantastic grinder. All right, we are at three minutes and 30 seconds right now. Okay, the grind size number. Hold on a second here. Too much fat if you have to make coffee for a couple of. Too much fat. Is that too much work? Okay. Okay, so Dot Rock asked me, could you open up the C Petro? Yeah, how much grind in the between? Yeah, Dot Rock is a. Uh, really into that. Okay, so just about, just under four minutes. Okay. So this is a sun-dried tomato. Did I say sun-dried tomato? Sun-dried process. Okay, from Ethiopia. Blueberry pie, orange and milk chocolate. Uh, just using uh, uh, Piatra, okay. All right, let's try this cup. Should be very clean. Should be. Okay, happy Mondays to you. Uh, after drink this cup, I'm going to op open up the uh, pitcher for the rock. One, two, one, two. So let's see how much coffee grinds there. Cheers. Man. Goodness. It's clean. Okay. Clean and oh man, I can taste the blueberry pie. Okay, definitely. Yeah, blueberry pie there, very smooth, very nice uh, mouth feels to it. The coated mouth feel to it. I think I might want to go a little coarser, so I want to bring out more sweetness there. But I can definitely taste the uh, milk chocolate. Okay, yeah. I mean, I cannot wait to, we're going to go head to head with uh, Oat, okay, Gen 2, uh, this Thursday, all right. So it should be, so again, so this week we are going to play with, you know, one or two grinders, so get ready for this week, uh, this Friday, uh, this Thursday. Man, this is good. Okay, so, uh, from request from Dark Rock, let's open it up here. Let's open it up the... Piatro, okay. Let's see how much coffee grinds stuck in there, okay. So let's figure it out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my white paper here. Okay. Again, from the bottom, it's not too bad, all right. From the bottom, you know, we got some copper statics, but but what's in, because a lot of flapper has issues, but be, between the burrs, okay, and they're going to have a uh, stuck. Okay, so if, if you want to remove that, just make sure the lever is to the bottom, press the button there, press it, to the left, just pull it out, okay. So here we go, so I'm going to start with... The top here, uh, that rock is not much, not much there. Okay, not a whole lot of coffee between the burrs. Okay. From here, can you see that? It's not much either. Okay. I I'm just gonna brush out how much coffee grinds stuck in there. Okay. I'm just going to clean it up here. Okay, let's wait this. Okay, I'm very curious. If you're going to wait.
uh, is about 0 .0, 0 0.04 gram. Okay, so it's not even it's not even registered. All right. So I mean, so that is comes to retention wise, it's pretty good. Okay, not a whole lot. Not whole, it's very airtight too. Okay, they're pretty tight. So it comes to retention, not much. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, I don't see a whole lot there. So I mean, that's pretty impressive. Okay, way it's designed. I know you guys are talking about the. No, we are talking about the price earlier this morning. It is pricey, but uh, I mean, once we start doing some comparison with other grinders, if the if this grinder is. Uh, has big enough difference between let's say O Gen 2. Okay, now we can talk about it, right? Now we have something. But the difference is a slightly difference. I mean, you know, I mean, at that point, you know, you're you are just buying for the you know brand, right? Just buying as a gadget. So it's not gonna you know make a whole make a big difference in the cup quality, let's put it that way. The I might ask me Mellow Drip or Gabit Master B. Uh, I had never used a Gabit Master B, but I'm pretty happy with the Mellow Drip. So yeah, the similar concept, but Gabit Master B is uh, the float rate is not as fast as the Mellow Drip. So, so I mean, you can have a, you know, you can you can have a better flow. Let's put it that way. But anyway, I think we are done for this morning, and I'll be back later. Okay, we're gonna play with some more uh, Piatra today. Uh, should be a lot of fun there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a, uh, before we go, okay, before we go. So, I don't know, I showed you guys earlier. So, last, uh, last time I was a struggle, okay, to put this one back in. And then, so they have the notch. You, you have to line it up. Okay, you have to line up the, uh, the notch there. Okay, so you, you, you just got to push it in properly. Hold on a second here. So that is the key. Sometimes you get in right away, but again, so, so that's the thing about the using a new grinder. You, you have to just kind of like play with it. Okay. So now everything fits right in. So again, uh, just, I mean, w once you start playing with it, it's going to get used to it anyway. All right. Well, then look, uh, Darawak has the same price as uh, uh, or, uh, Orphan Espresso Apex. Okay, the Apex is about the same price there. Probably should secure the tape. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so as long as you do filter, workflow is not that bad. But what, once you start getting to Espresso, that's a completely different story. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. And I'm going to see you guys in about a few hours.